Welcome back. Cemeteries can hold centuries worth of history, but when it comes to accuracy, time takes its toll on records. Yeah, cemeteries and grave sites can often be forgotten or ignored. Bailey Bates, you're live in our studio with how one city in Texoma is actually trying to restore one of its cemeteries. An 80 acre cemetery in Durant, Oklahoma, burials dating back as early as 1901 with an estimated of 30,000 buried. But is that number actually accurate? It's a good example of what we've been seeing here and, and what prompted us to move further. With this this is Cindy Price. She look. spends every day at Highland Cemetery as the cemetery administrator. She has a mission to know what lies beneath. To know that I left the cemetery better off than when I found it and the best contribution to the community that I can make is a full accounting of all the burials in this cemetery. With the burial records being very incomplete in the early 1900s, a lot of grave sites are possibly unused or unmarked. Some might be unmarked for financial or religious reasons or just poor records. They weren't forgotten by the family and now they're not forgotten by the city. And I won't ever be able to identify all of the unmarked burials, but I can account for them. So they did matter and they are there. But the big problem is that there is an estimate of more than 2,000 sites marked, but not in use, wasting space and money. Through a ground penetrating radar, the city will be able to find the sites not in use. The radar shows grave pits, sites that have been carved, and edges of caskets ensuring the graves will not be disrupted. The spaces unused can eventually be reverted back to the city and then resold, saving the city money by not having to expand and bringing in extra revenue. Now this is a two phase project. Durant City Council already approved the first phase and it is set to start in November. It only addresses about four sections of the cemetery. Live in studio, I'm Bailey Bates, K10 News.